Okay, so hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about flushing your engine with diesel. I've seen quite a few videos on YouTube espousing for this method. And as far as I'm concerned, this is a bad idea. And I will explain why. You see, your engine has tolerances or clearances. Like say, for example, the piston to cylinder wall clearance. And this gap is only between 0.02 to 0.04 mm. Your crankshaft and main crankshaft bearings and journal bearings and camshaft bearings, etc., all have clearances as well. There are tolerances, okay? A gap, if you will, a gap. And inside or in between that gap, like this piston to cylinder wall clearance, there must be a layer or film of oil. And the idea being is that when the piston goes up and down, these two, the piston as well as the cylinder, won't come into contact with each other, but rather is sliding on a film of oil, okay? A cushion of oil, if you will. And it's the same, like I've said, for the crankshaft, the camshaft, the journal bearings, etc. It's riding on a film or layer of oil. That is so to avoid, of course, wear and tear. Otherwise, if you do not have this film or layer of oil, you end up with metal to metal contact resulting to wear and tear. That is why oils are graded for viscosity or oil thickness, like this one, 1540. So that it can serve as a cushion, okay, a cushion between two metal surfaces. Now, what happens if you use diesel to flush your engine? Now, generally, like I've already discussed in this video and also in this video, diesel is essentially also oil. But the problem is, diesel is very thin compared to engine oil. You see that? This is diesel and this is oil. And diesel, because it's very thin, it is not able to provide that cushion in between two moving parts. And what happens is you end up with metal to metal contact resulting to wear and tear. And I personally know someone who was doing this method before, okay? He claimed that it was okay. He claimed that it was really able to flush his engine, that it's perfectly okay. And then maybe about three years of doing that, he ended up with having to bring his engine or his vehicle to a shop for an engine rebuild. Well, at least it took three years. But I tell you, I've seen and heard of several people complaining about their engine producing weird noises or thick black smoke right after flashing their engine with diesel, okay, doing this method. Because when you do that, like I've said, your engine is operating without that cushion or layer that is necessary to prevent metal-to-metal -metal contact. So that is why I say as far as I'm concerned, that is a bad idea. But anyway, that's just me. If you want to do that or are already doing that, then that's on you. If you claim that it's okay, I have no problems with that. Your money, your engine, your prerogatives. And if you're going to have issues with your engine, guess what? It will be your problems as well. By the way, before I end this video, there's an old but very informative video about engine lubrication entitled Riding the Film. You might want to look that up on YouTube, okay? Riding the Film. Now, just so you know, I'm not affiliated or associated in any way with that video, okay? Like I've said, it's very informative and I just want to share that with you should you want to learn more. So anyway, I do believe that's it. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found this informative. If you do, let me know in the comments below. Like, share, and if you're new to my channel, subscribe if you want to. Only if you want to, and as always, thank you for watching.